Welcome back. It's day two of our week of prayer, and we want to thank you for sending in your prayer requests, but also praying with us, because we really believe that we can shift the balance of this nation by prayer. It is literally the power that God uses to allow us to see change, and we are so thrilled for the change makers that we have with us, the Sheriff Materos, and joining us, and you know, Pastor Rick, and Ryan. oh, Pastor Kathy, Lord. you guys are, are just yeah, wonderful jewels and just wonderful treasures in this nation. You know, this is something that hits close to home. And uh, with uh, Pastor Kathy, you know, with the Windsor Life Center, you've seen great success in this area yes. because our focus today is human trafficking and also pornography. Right. And it seems to be a very big issue. I mean, they said this is the pornification of a generation, the first generation that has not known purity. Right. And, and it's rampant everywhere. Like, we find that the woman we get in our center, mm. very often they've had major crises, trauma in their, in their past, and they're looking for help, and yeah. that's the people that are preyed upon. Mm. And so what happens is the people that do the trafficking yeah. will find them, they know how to find them, they know where to look, and so they get them, then they get them hooked on drugs mm. so that then they can control them. And so, and they totally control their lives. And we've had quite a few women in the center that have been human trafficked and have literally had to escape for their lives and it's horrible when you hear all the stories and the things that they go through you know i think the one of the most shocking things that i heard is the the stamp and they call them and and i and i say this humbly tramp stamps because what they do is they're able to track them by in in, in like human chattel they're able to actually track them with a barcode mm -hmm. and know where they come from and everything else how to find them yeah we've had women with that they've mm -hmm. been branded, branded. and uh, they are owned by by somebody and they have to basically do whatever they say yeah. unless they can escape from it mm -hmm. and usually the addiction because they get them hooked on drugs so that yeah. they can control them because once they have that addiction then they have to do what they do to get the drugs yeah. and so they're caught in it it's a cycle they're caught in mm -hmm. and a lot of them never get out of it because they can't and they don't know how. And we see in Canada, sometimes we think this is far removed, but we're, the stats show that the 401, 400 highways are actually the highest uh, sex trafficked area in all of Canada. Yeah, 60% of human trafficking, they are taken down the 400 Amazing. highway series and they've actually started doing uh, some things to, you know, catch the, the catch them on the highway and they're on routes and yeah. wherever they can because it's, it's epidemic and there, it's a multi billion dollar industry in Canada. Yeah, but really what's the root cause of that when you when you start thinking about it from a pastor's heart and what you see across the nation, Pastor Ray? Well, I believe a lot of it, and this is not in every case. Every mm -hmm. case has its own merits. Divorce has had its uh, consequences a lot of times, stepfathers coming in. But I believe at the root issue of many, it's the father wound. Mm -hmm. You're seeing the number one age group, 13 and a half year old girls. <sighs> This is someone's granddaughter, someone's grand, you know, son that are being used, 13 and a half years old. Yeah. So I really believe the solution is for the dads to step up yeah. and be the dads, the Christ honoring fear, uh, not fear, the fear of God yeah. inside of their life, leading their families and leading their homes in the right ways of God. I agree, and I think we, we really have to fight for the family. You know, Lamentation says, cry out for the life of your children that are perishing at the head of every street. And I believe when he says cry out, he doesn't just say, you know, just, just be a little bit uh, bothered by it, but I believe he says rent your heart and not just your garments. You know, before I came on, I, I got a, a call of a, uh, one of our, in our church, uh, that her brother was trafficking her daughter, and my heart is broken over that, you know? And I'm saying, this happened has to stop. We have got to rise up as the church. If we don't, who will? If we're not going to be the fathers and the mothers that pray about that. You know, I, I know we're, we're moved, but we, we get a lot of prayer requests here. And I think we've got, we've got ample fuel for the fire. Um, and and I, the one thing that I believe that darkness may have a day, but this is not the day. And we can turn the tide. And it, it starts with us praying, but it starts with us acting as well. Yeah. What you're doing, what you're seeing. But will you begin to pray for some of those women right now, uh, Pastor Kathy, that are in, 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 in that sex trafficking industry mm -hmm. on that 400, that 401, mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that are addicted to drugs. I, I just hear in my spirit, I feel the spirit of God saying that they give them one contact with drugs to give them a hit because they know if they could just get a hit, they get them addicted. 
But I believe if they get a hit of Jesus, mm -hmm. they Amen. will be not Amen. only addicted to Jesus, but we'll see a Holy yeah. Ghost revival. Yeah. Amen. 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 Why don't you lead well, us? Father, we just thank you that this is not a hopeless situation. Amen. Lord, we know slavery has been around since the beginning of time. And we know this is our modern day slavery. Mm -hmm. And yet you are the one that is the deliverer. Yeah. You're the one that's a healer. Amen. And I thank you, Father God, even for the, the projects that the police are working on yes. that are trying to catch these people and trying yeah. to rescue these yeah. young women and men. Yeah. And Lord, I pray for those men, yes. people that are doing these projects, Lord, Project Made Belief. And, and, and we pray for them. We pray that we pray you'll God. educate people so that when they are in out Jesus and about, name. that they will have eyes to see and recognize mm. people yeah. that are being trafficked. Discernment. Lord, that you will just make a way, that you'll yeah. open up the eyes, that you'll speak yeah. to people, speak yeah. to their hearts. Quickly and those now. that are caught up in this, those that are victims in Do this, it. we mm. pray for those young women and men, mm. Lord, that, are, that have been God. sold and being used and abused. Yeah. We pray for them, that you will make a way for them, that they will in cry Jesus out to name. you. And Lord, that you will somehow make a way that they can be rescued and brought out of that. We pray, Father God, for this nation to change. Yes. We pray for the laws to change. Yes. We pray for the church to stand up. We pray for people to Amen. rise up for this cause yeah. and, and make a difference and do what they yeah. need to do, that they can be a come part on, of the solution on. because we are the solution. Poor we Lord, have the so solution. Poor. And Father, we thank, thank you, Lord God, that this is not uh, uh, something that is hopeless, but it is something, Lord, that we can make a difference, that we can do, that we can change in this yeah. nation. And Amen. we just pray and believe you. And even for the people that are doing it, yeah. for their salvation, yes. we pray for them. Sure. Just like John Newton got saved, yeah. Father God, and wrote mm -hmm. Amazing Grace, Father, we pray that there'll be mm -hmm. more people like him that mm -hmm. will recognize their need of you, mm -hmm. and they will repent of their yeah. evil deeds mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Father, turn the hearts of the fathers yes. back to their children. Yes. The children back to their... May there be a healing in the families. Yes. Please. May there be a healing in the homes, a yeah. healing in the marriages. Mm -hmm. Father God, may they see it's not an option, yeah. but it's got to become a priority. Amen. To spend the time with their children, not just using the babysitting uh, tactics of the day of TV and uh, YouTube and all the things that are out there, but actually quality mm -hmm. time with dads and their moms. Yeah. Father, release that spirit of faith yes. on every dad watching yeah. the program today to unite with their kids and to start being the father to their daughters, yes. to speak as them as the queen, to speak as them as the kings, their sons, yes. and see these here relationships shift. We in ask Jesus in Jesus' name, name Dad. Jesus' name, yes. We pray for healing across our nation in every family, and that the church itself would be healed. Open our eyes yes. and quicken our feet yeah. to action oh, in God. regards to this. We, we unite with you, Father. Your will be done. We know it is your desire to break the chains yeah. of bondage mm -hmm. that are holding those. And even now, Jesus, I pray in your name that even someone watching today would turn to you and would experience your healing and your release in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And Father, we pray for our partners and all yes, of those Jesus. that have been, Lord, yes. sending in their yes. prayers. And Lord, we they yes. have had a, a touch of you, but I pray for a blast yes. at last. I pray for another hit for the body yes. of Christ. Yes. I pray that we would yes. be so filled with the Holy yes. Spirit that we would rise up and that we would be your hands and feet in this hour and that we would see change yes. take place now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we claim this and we touch and agree with these prayers and also those that are watching yes. in Jesus' Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You know, we don't we don't believe that this is the end. This is just a part of this. Yes. We're fanning the flame. We want to leave you with a power yes. verse. Matthew 7, 7 says it this way. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened For to you. everyone who asks, <laughs> right, it receives. Yes. The one who seeks finds and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Thanks for watching. Keep praying. Amen.